today we're gonna to be making one of my favorites smoked chuck roast as far as a pot roast meal we're gonna combine all the ingredients I'm gonna show you what I do to smoke this chuck roast making it perfect for this kind of meal that you can do with your family and let me tell you it's definitely one of our favorites not only is it great comfort food but it's actually really easy to make so without further ado let's get into it and let's have some fun All right, so one of the things I like to do when you're picking out a chuck roast, try to pick out one with a lot of marbling in it. The more, the better. This one's from my friends at Porter Row. It usually comes, usually a lot of marbling, so I don't worry about too much. Now what I'm gonna use is I like to use a little bit of mayonnaise as a binder. It just seems to work for me, especially for chuck roast. Um, so that's what I like to use. Like I said, you don't need a lot on here just enough to get covered so when you're adding the seasonings they stick to the meat and like I said uh, that's just what I like to use and it tends to work for me there just basically start covering uh, with the seasonings that I like to use and uh, getting those in there uh, I'm using a combination of different ingredients from uh, friends of Guste Vete uh, they have great seasonings but you can use whatever seasoning you like I just like using this combination, especially for chuck roast. It tends to work for me and uh, never had no problems with it. So if it works, stick with it, right? Yeah. Another little trick too, if you don't already know, I like, if I have any seasoning that kind of lays off to the side, I just roll it around. So again, hitting it back up with that prime double smoke right here. That's the, usually the base layer for me anyway. Then from there, I'm using some of that ultimate barbecue seasoning. And then some of this prime protein. Definitely love this one, one of my favorites. And then last but not least, a little bit of this taste of Tuscany. Obviously it has like a little bit of Italian blend. So yeah, I'm gonna get this covered. Get all this seasoning on this truck road. I'm gonna allow this to rest, probably for the next 20 to 30 minutes while I get the fire. Get the uh, truck roast on here. Uh, basically, I got this expander, which works out really well. Uh, helps get the meat, obviously as the meat rises to the top, helps get done a little bit sooner. Obviously using the old water pan technique, I love using this, seems to keep the meat moist while it's being smoked. Uh, and I'll be using it again for the chuck roast. So uh, we'll get into it, then we run this around 300 or so. We'll see how it goes. And like I said, this should be a good cook. Definitely look forward to seeing how it turns out. As you can see, it's coming along nicely. Definitely looks good. Get a little probe tender, see, what, see where we're at. All right, we obviously still got a ways to go, but definitely like the way the bark on this looks. Uh, definitely looks good, got good color. Uh, so we'll keep rolling along, see how much more we can go with this. And uh, obviously from there, eventually we're gonna get this into a cast iron pan with a lot of other ingredients for an awesome stew. Oh yeah, as you can see, Definitely looking good. Color looks fantastic. Um, like I said, we're getting there slowly but surely. I'm really trying to get to around a temperature around 180 before I actually cube this. And I pull it, cube it, and get it into the pot. Right now we're around 156 internal temp. So a little ways longer to go, but I'm telling you what, man, just keep admiring that color. Definitely looking forward to seeing how this turns out. Should be a good one. Getting the butter in there first. Get the butter in there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and throw in some. Alright, now that we got the butter and the garlic in there, I'm also going to go ahead and throw in onions and get those reduced down. Alright, now that I got those reduced down, Go ahead, throw in my salad. Go ahead, put in some beef broth. Put in some vegetable broth. And we're gonna let this simmer while I get the brew going. All right, so for me, I like building the brew just a little bit 
separate from the actual roast. Uh, it just seems to, I don't know, it just seems to work better and blend better when it's all said and done. So that's what I'm starting with, basically getting this going. And um, obviously we'll start adding components to this. Uh, initially starting off with some beef broth and uh, continue to layer that. As we get that more and more layered, then we'll add that into the actual cast iron. Uh, but right now, we're just getting this going. This is about the consistency that I'm looking for as it relates to the roof. Um, you can go a little bit thicker, you can go a little bit less thicker, but this is what I'm looking for because you got to remember this is going to be integrated into the pot that already has the vegetables and some of the juices already. Uh, I'm just kind of looking to add a little bit of thickness to this, almost like a, a hint of a gravy, but not quite. So. One thing that I do, you don't have to do this, I'm doing this really about speed, is I went ahead and steamed, uh, should say, boiled some of these carrots just so they're getting closer to al dente uh, for the stew themselves. So I went ahead and pre-boiled the uh, potatoes. You don't have to do that, you can do that as part of the mix, but this is just what I wanted to do. Now that I've let my roux simmer, I'll go ahead and stir this in here. It's going to give it that real pot roast feel. Time to go ahead and add in chuck roast and we'll get the seal back up and back on the cooker all right as you can see the chuck roast beef stew smoked chuck roast beef stew looks fantastic carrots potatoes celery onions the works uh, definitely turned out great and uh, certainly excited to see how this tastes all right so final glimpse smoked chuck roast pot roast stew it's really good mm. literally melts in your mouth lots of flavor one of my favorites to make honestly potatoes the carrots the celery onions the garlic everything blends together and it was a fantastic meal until next time good cooking